microtubule-based motility is predicated on molecular motors that walk along microtubules and in some cases is predicated on the very dynamic nature of microtubules, in fact their instability, and we're going to look at examples. Let's talk first about motor proteins. Motor proteins are going to require free energy, so they're all in fact ATP fueled. This is an example of a protein that has been studied. It has multiple domains and it's made up of several polypeptides. This is dynein, and we'll see that dynein functions, for example, in cilia and flagella of eukaryotic cells, but it also functions as a molecular motor carrying vesicles in a neuron. So I said molecular motor typically move vesicles. Here we have the interior of a cell that has been dually immunostained, that is, there are two fluorescent antibody preparations, one against lysosomal proteins and another prep that's a different color fluorescence against microtubules. And what you should see here is the green is a fluorescent antibody against lysosomal proteins, so wherever you see green, that's one or more lysosomes. And you can see that wherever you see green, they are attached to the red stuff, which is the microtubules. You do not see lysosomes sitting out in the middle of the black spaces because they are not really free in the cytoplasm of the cell. They are attached to microtubules. As a part of the cytoskeleton, microtubules, and you'll also see this is true of actin and intermediate filaments, not only give a cell shape, but they function as a kind of a scaffold on which various cellular structures and organelles are hung. Dynein is one of these motor proteins. Kinesin is another, and we know that one of the key differences between dynein and kinesin are that they carry vesicles in opposite directions. This is useful in a nerve cell because if you want to carry neurotransmitters from the cell body to the nerve terminus, use kinesin because it's going to carry vesicles to the plus end of these microtubules at the nerve ending. And if you have to carry empty vesicles back in order to pick up more neurotransmitter, then the motor protein that's used is dynein. There are other proteins that are associated with these complexes as well. But the main take-home message here is that the dynein carries vessels back to the cell body where they can be recycled or refilled with a neurotransmitter. And kinesin carries the neurotransmitter-filled vesicle in the other direction to the axon terminus or the nerve terminus. Now what's shown here for a nerve cell is also true of other cells. In the case, for example, of a pigment cell, the pigments will be carried by dynein in one direction and kinesin in the other, depending on uh, whether the cell has to uh, darken or lighten. Dynein is also attached to microtubules in cilia and flagella and also in spindle fibers of mitosing cells where they allow one microtubule or one microtubule complex to walk along, if you will, slide along the other.